So if you're like me, you'll be constantly looking for ways to speed up your workflow and just to generally be more productive in your editing. And with that in mind, this is my favorite little trick for speeding up editing and specifically rendering with Premiere Pro. So for speed sake, let's jump into a finished edit. Here we have a recent video that is done. There I am representing the Watermelon Squad. That's just for Pete there. Make sure you sign up below to the hashtag Watermelon Squad. Pete hates it. So that's done. We've set our in and out points for the project ready to export. We're going to export in the normal way up to this point. So I'm going to press Command M on the keyboard and that's going to bring up our export window. Uh, I'm just going to set my normal export settings. So H264 and I've got a preset ready made. So for now, let's just say that there, test export. Ordinarily, you would come down and hit export and it would start rendering out. But what we're gonna do is hit Q. And when you hit Q, what Adobe Premiere Pro does is open up a program called Adobe Media Encoder. Now automatically, it gets your export settings and places them in this Q window here. And when you're ready to go and you're happy with your settings, you hit play. You do get another chance to change your settings just in case you may have made a mistake inside Premiere, which is quite unlikely at this point, but the option's there. So when you're happy with your settings, you literally hit the play button and it will start rendering. The interesting thing of what it does is that it creates a kind of dummy project for you to take the render from, which means I can now go back to Adobe Premiere Pro and carry on working. I could even close the project and open a new one and in the background this will still be rendering so I can come in here hit play I can start to make some adjustments I can delete parts of the audio I can then save it and I come back to my render and it is still rendering so using media encoder to render your videos massively speeds up your workflow if you're wanting to work on multiple videos at the same time, or perhaps you're someone that's producing daily content and you're needing to bash out a couple of edits in a single sitting, this is a great way for freeing up some workflow and enabling you to work quicker. You know, ordinarily when I hit render, I'm sat here for at least half an hour waiting for the video to export out. Now I'm free to start the next project or even make some little tweaks or little social media cuts from this. I can even create a second render whilst that's happening. So I'll do the same thing again. Apple M, I can go test two, and I can hit Q. And whilst it's still rendering, I can add a second item to the queue. I can do that an infinite amount of times. I can add a hundred items to that queue whilst my original one is still rendering and then carry on working inside Premiere Pro. I can even close Premiere Pro and leave this render. It's that effective. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. For me, it's one of my favorite little shortcuts for speeding up my workflow. And for you, I hope it's the same too. What I've brought into the shot here is, this, this is my polite way of stopping you every time you interrupt the edit. First of all, we're gonna talk about, in the edit, yeah. there was an unnecessary... You say unnecessary, I think... <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have breakfast. For those oh, of you that missed that, that, and we need an action replay, we're going to turn it right up to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Always have your breakfast, never skip a meal. <laughs> we hope you learned something from today's video. Join the Watermelon Squad. No, Filmmakers Squad. Watermelon Squad. Filmmakers Club. Watermelon Squad. Put down below what you think it should be called. Watermelon Squad. Filmmakers Club. Thanks for watching and... Um, oh, just gonna end it. Just end. I know, it's trying to milk the time, aren't we? Watch time, it's all about watch time. Hopefully you got some value from today's video. If you did, maybe you've got some other ideas that you would like help with at the desk. Not teas and coffees, I was thinking, Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. No, other ideas at the desk. Things that you're struggling with. Put them in the comments below. We'll answer it, maybe for the Filmmakers Club. Join the Watermelon Squad. In the Filmmakers Club, we've got a range of videos just for you. Every month we could just make more. We're gonna make more videos. Yeah, we already do three a week here. Make them join our club. More, more videos? I don't know. Just for the squad, Filmmakers <sighs> Squad. I mean, we were already done on time.
Okay, well that's pretty good then. Yeah. Uh, just wrap it up, I suppose. So uh, yeah, thanks. Ooh. Thanks. You've got you do the outro anyway. <laughs> Your stomach. I know. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that missed it, there's an action replay. A couple of important things today. Always try and speed up your editing by using Media Encoder. It will give you more time to have breakfast. And breakfast should always be fruit. Preferably have watermelon for breakfast. Just end the video. So that's been our two minute tutorial that lasts way more than two minutes, probably closer to 10 because we like to milk your attention. Thanks for watching. Join the Watermelon Squad. Filmmakers Club. And I'll see you next time. I'm off. God, I'm starving. <laughs>